Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do an example on the superposition principle with that linear differential equation. So here we have a second order homogeneous linear differential equation and two solutions to that equation. What we're trying to show now is that each one of those are indeed solutions to this equation. And then we're going to pick a random linear combination and show that it also will be a solution to that equation. So starting out with these two, uh, with the first one, let's first take the first and second derivative of that. So y1 prime is going to be e to the x, and y1 double prime is also going to be e to the x. Of course, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, which means when we plug this in for here and this in for here, we end up with the following. We end up with e to the x for y double prime minus e to the x for the function y, and of course that is equal to zero, so it checks out as a solution for this differential equation. Starting with the second equation right there, we have y2 prime is equal to minus e to the minus x, and y2 double prime, take a derivative again, is going to be a positive e to the minus x because the negative will cancel out this negative. And then if we plug in this for y double prime and this for y, we get e to the minus x minus e to the minus x, which of course is again equal to zero. And so both of those solutions do check out as being a solution to this differential equation. Now let's pick a random linear combination. So we have y, let's call it y3, is equal to c1 e to the x plus c2 e to the minus x, and we're going to pick some numbers here. Let's pick 3 and 2, so we have the third solution, which is a linear combination, which is equal to 3e to the x plus 2e to the minus x. And now let's see if that in itself is a solution to the differential equation. Of course, if the superposition principle holds, that must be a solution. So we take y3 prime is equal to 3e to the x, and here we get minus 2 e to the minus x. And then we take the derivative again, y3 double prime is equal to 3 e to the x, and then the minus cancels out the minus, we get plus 2 e to the minus x. Now when we plug in this for the double derivative and this for y, we get the following. We get 3 e to the x plus 2 e to the minus x, that would be for the y double prime, from that, we subtract y, which is equal to 3e to the x plus 2e to the minus x. And then again, you can see that when we subtract, again, we get 0. That shows that the linear combination is also a solution to the original differential equation. That's how the superposition principle works.